Vina, your pie, love in a cotton, Vina. Hold on. No sing certificate over here. Okay, the high school, Jay, look at your home, Jay. No, 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 nhà hôn nó nó không được cơ tài cho nó nè health career academic nữa nè để tài hôn nó nè anh em dính nào nữa dính nào dính nào nó nè dính nào cái lúp ba nè này phải nấu bột thì nó tự do phí tài chính nó nè เราพูดดังนั้นเลยตั้งจุดตรงตัวจริงนั่นนะจะสตูดิโอเนี่ยไปเราพูดจริงนั่นนะเขาว่าเลิกกันตายเขาโน่นนะเฮลท์คอร์
and so it is an honor and a pleasure to be here today. I, I, I will tell you, one of, the, one of the things that is just the most rewarding to my job is getting, you know, getting the opportunity to come in every day and, and to work with such young, amazing individuals who all share a common goal, and that is to help somebody. And whether it be a nurse, a doctor, a radiologist, a pharmacist, and the list of disciplines go on and on. But again, I am so proud of each and every one of these young individuals. I get to introduce to you this afternoon um, a former student of ours who, who truly has overcame so many challenges over her journey of becoming a nurse. And she was selected uh, three years ago in, in the Future Nurses Program at Fresno City College. And Fresno City College offers this Future Nurses Program to only students that are enrolled in the ROP programs throughout uh, Fresno and Madera counties. So there are nine schools that compete for 20 students, or I should say for 20 seats in each cohort annually. And to this day, we have approximately 28 of our graduates somewhere in that pathway. And the uniqueness about the Future, future Nurses Program at Fresno City is these students enter the pathway right out of high school and they, they are cohorted through the entire pathway of becoming a registered nurse. And you know, Fresno City's program, as many of you may not know, is a lotto program and they have approximately 1,200 students in that pipeline that is competing for limited seats every two years. The future nurses that are selected, that are coming right out of our ROP programs, get to go to the front of the line, and they don't compete. They've worked extremely hard over the course of their high school years, and they have competed to actually earn that position in, the, in that program. We're going to be recognizing a few of our students this year that was selected into the, the newest cohort. But, you know, I, I've got to say before I call our guest speaker up, another one of just the most amazing things about my job is I not only get to work with them on a day-to-day -day basis, and I say this often, I say it at every single graduation for the past 23 years. You know, going to work to me is not like going to work. And it's not when you're truly passionate about something, and I truly find it a calling, okay? That you get up in the morning, you get to go work with some amazing young adults that truly do keep me young at heart, okay? And it's nice to know that in the very near future, or actually currently, that we are producing such fine young individuals and putting them out there into these into these very risky situations in healthcare. And um, on that note, I'm going to introduce to you one of my dearest. And you know, when they graduate, they just it just doesn't stop there. You know, as a teacher, we become mentors, we become extended parents, we become the therapist, we, we become just about everything else. But one of the most beautiful things is after they graduate, we can remain friends and I get to see people out in the field. And just this last Friday, I was having a routine infusion that I have to have, and it is such a pleasure knowing that every time I go, it's one of my former students who is my actual IV nurse from 20 plus years ago. And Ms. Mattergill, if you'll please go right on up to the front. Parents, if you would like to come forward, as we call your, your graduate up, you are more than welcome to take a picture. And then if you please, you know, get back to your seats so that we don't include the view of others, right? Shania Abadala, who will be going to Fresno City College, majoring in allied health and nursing. Carolina Alatori Cortez, President City College, Major pre Allied Health and Nursing. Madeline Anderson, 
California State University Fresno, Major Creole and Cop and Nursing. Delaney Baldwin, University of Iowa, Major Nursing. Oh, this isn't the, the right one, because we ran out, and so I was at the end, so I got this. But then he'll give me mine tomorrow. Yeah, no, it's cute. Oh, it's cute. Oh, it's cute. Oh, it's cute. Me? Yeah. 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 Me?
Đứng đá xa Ở trong một đá đây Xuân lên sắp tự quái trời đó Mềm ma sự Tông là Tông là chỗ bệnh chờ chú mô yê Chú ở trong dưới kia tông là Bái ở rinh nạc Tông là Tông là kể ở rinh nạc Tông rinh nạc chú mì Cô tí khó phó quá Sí So go back from the city, man. Yep. In the fall. Yep. Okay. No way. Yeah. 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 Yeah.